Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Ugly Pots, let's talk about Ugly Pots. Reality is, most of my plants are pot in plastic pots like these. They're convenient, easy to upsize when my plant grows out of it. And this one's even on wheels because it's so huge and hard to move around the house. I had a few ideas and I went to my favorite decor stores and I picked up these placemats from Pier 1 Imports. And I'm thinking this would look cute as a cover. Okay, for my first idea, I wanted to make something from these dry grass woven placemats. They're nice and sturdy, which I thought would make perfect covers. To make it long enough, I decided to connect two placemats together. So I started off by hot gluing the edges on one side on both placemats. I made sure to avoid getting glue onto the tassels since I would be cutting them off later. To avoid burning my fingers, I love using a ruler to push the fabric down into the glue. Then I went ahead and cut off all the tassels so they're not in the way. Here's how the edges looked. Okay, now they're ready to be connected. I got some thin gold wire that's pretty bendable and I cut it into two inch strips. Then I fed the wire through on both ends of the placemats and twisted the wire to connect both placemats together. I did this every two to three inches from the top to the bottom of the placemats. And the last step that's left to do is attach Velcro. I had this Velcro that had tape on one side and it was actually pretty bad tape so it wasn't very strong. I ended up hot gluing them into place on the mat. Okay, so I have my fiddly thing here. We have our placemats that are connected and this is the moment of truth. So I'm gonna try putting it on. Okay. Ooh, I like the tassels. Oh man, I'm wondering if I should probably just not have cut all them off. What do you guys think? Do you guys like the tassels? I actually like this. This is supposed to be the back, but I think I'm gonna leave it in the front. Cute. I'm so in love with how they turned out. This was such an easy update for a simple plastic pot and I just cannot believe that it was this cheap. The total cost for it was only $7. What a steal deal. For my second idea, I wanted to add some texture to my plastic pot with this jute placemat. You can probably also use regular burlap for this as well. Here's the plastic pot I decided to upcycle. To start off, I cut off the top inch to give it a smoother finish. I did not like these ridges. I will say this made the pot pretty wobbly, but I wasn't too concerned about it because I'd be adding plaster to it. Okay, next I used some hot glue to attach the placemat to the plastic pot. Because the fabric has a lot of fuzzies, I used my heat gun to try and gently burn off the fuzzies, but it actually didn't help much, so. Turns out I did not have enough of the fabric from the placemat because this was on clearance and I actually bought the last one. So I had to do some patchwork on the back to cover it all up, but it's okay. Um, it still turned out okay, you can barely see the seams. You can actually leave your pot like this with just the jute. This gives the pot a really cute look. However, I wanted a white colored pot, so I decided to try and apply a layer of plaster over the fabric. This is definitely a more permanent transformation rather than the first idea I had. I mixed some plaster of Paris powder with cold water. Be sure to use cold water because if you use warm water, it will set faster. The consistency of your plaster should be like thick paint. Then I applied a layer onto the jute fabric. The plaster takes about seven minutes to set, so you have to work quick and in small sections. I applied about a five inch section and used a wet paper towel to rub over the surface to reveal the fabric's texture. Don't wait too long because once your plaster starts to set, you won't be able to remove the plaster enough to reveal the texture of the fabric. You can also try and apply the plaster with your hands. This actually seems to work better because it reveals the texture of the fabric right away. I also applied some plaster to the top of the pot to finish it off. Okay, and here's how it looks. I love the woven pottery look it has. I do wish the texture of the fabric stood out a bit more. My plaster was a little bit thicker than it should have been at first, but overall, I'm really happy with how this turned out. Okay, for my third idea, I decided to give my giant planter a leather bag look. I purchased some faux leather at Hobby Lobby and to start off, I measured the height of my pot and marked the amount on the leather. Then I added about eight inches for the cuff I wanted on top. If your plant is on wheels like mine is, make sure you take this into account when marking and measuring. Okay, next to make the cuff area sturdier, I cut a long strip of poster board. I made sure that it wasn't too wide so that the cuff could be folded back later. While the fabric was laying face down, I applied the strip of poster board 
on the back and hot glued it. Then I folded the leather over the poster board and glued it as well to create the cuff. Next, I flipped the faux leather over and folded back the cuff. I glued it down as well. I wrapped the leather around the pot and marked where it needed to be cut. I made sure some of the fabric was still overlapping so I could apply Velcro in that area. Next, I removed the plastic backing off my Velcro and applied the Velcro. And because the Velcro tape was actually pretty weak, I ended up having to hot glue it down as well. To add structure to the leather cover, I hot glued strips of poster board to the back of the leather cover. I also added a strip to the bottom as well. Then to finish it off, I applied little dots of hot glue to the top of the cover to help it from sliding down the pot once it's attached. Okay, now to attach the leather cover onto my pot, I just wrapped around the pot and secured the Velcro on the top at first, then moved my way down. And that's it. I love how clean this looks versus the simple plastic pot. And I cannot believe this also only cost me $7. What a steal deal. Th Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. Happy spring, everyone. I will see you all next time. Bye.